Fresh Start Worlds are coming to Old School RuneScape on October 19th, so in today's video I'm going to give you everything you need to know before release. The name is honestly pretty self-explanatory, Fresh Start Worlds are going to be a brand new way to experience Old School with a fresh new economy and high score system. Fresh Start Worlds will be available to both free to play and for members, and they aren't a long term replacement for leagues or deadman mode. With that said though, I do want to note they are kind of a temporary replacement because we will not be getting a new league season or a deadman mode season before the end of this year. So while technically Fresh Start Worlds might be this year's replacement for both of those game modes, they're not going to be a long term replacement where we just continuously get Fresh Start World resets rather than new leagues or deadman mode seasons. And this is far from strictly a new competitive game mode, but because we're all starting from a blank slate, there'll be plenty of new high scores and world first up for grabs. And on top of that, they've also developed a brand new Fresh Start World exclusive achievement system that'll help guide new players. And after six months, your progress in the Fresh Start Worlds will automatically transfer over to the main game. This includes your items, your quest points, and your skill levels. And we've already touched on it a little bit, but let's talk design. The game played in Fresh Start Worlds is exactly as the main game, but the economy and high scores will be completely reset and brand new. Fresh Start Worlds will receive all of the same regular game updates as the main game. And a very important thing to note is unlike the RuneScape version of Fresh Start Worlds, Old Schools will not have increased XP or drop rates, and Iron Man mode will not be available. The intention of this update was designed for new players, so they thought it was best to keep things as simple as possible. And now a little bit on how you're actually going to be able to play in the Fresh Start Worlds. There's going to be a new opt-in system. So in order to play, you'll need to complete the tutorial on any world, and at the very end of the tutorial on Tutorial Island, you'll see a prompt asking whether you'd like a Fresh Start account or a main account. So realistically, if you want to play Fresh Start Worlds, you can take your account all the way to the end of Tutorial Island before it actually releases on the 19th. And as soon as you get to the mage, whenever the game does update on October 19th, you'll be able to hop in and immediately select to start in your Fresh Start World. But now let's talk about the new achievement system. Fresh Start Worlds will have a unique achievement system to mark milestones on your journey. This will have a side panel interface where you'll be able to see how many achievement points, which they'll call AP, you've earned so far. And if you've ever played any of the leagues, this is very similar to how those league points will work, where essentially you complete a task and you'll get points in return for it. For example, something like this clue, if you complete an easy clue, you'll receive 6 AP. And here is a first look at what the Fresh Start World panel is going to look like. It'll show your total achievement points and how you can earn more. There will be a slight little opt-out option if you do want to turn your account into a main account and leave the Fresh Start Worlds. Do note that is completely permanent. And then finally, there will be an option to see some more mode info and how much time is remaining in the Fresh Start Worlds. Unfortunately, unlike leagues, regardless of how many achievement points you do actually collect, it will not give you access to any new rewards. It is essentially just a little bonus feature to show how far you're progressing your account. And they do go on to show an achievement point breakdown with various activities, and if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the blog to check through some of the details yourself. But if I'm being entirely honest, one of the things I'm most disappointed about when it comes to fresh dart rolls in this new achievement point system is the fact that achievement points will not be featured on the high scores for fresh dart worlds. I completely understand the desire to not add any new items coming from achievement points or anything related to fresh start worlds, but I don't understand the simple act of adding achievement points to the high scores that would massively accelerate the competitiveness within the new game. But not for the world's first system. Fresh start worlds are designed for new players, but if you do have a bit more experience, you might want to take part on the challenge of achieving a world first. Whenever someone achieves a world first, it will be broadcasted within the game, so everybody can recognize their achievement. And here are a list of some of the world's first they're planning to broadcast, being the first to kill a boss, being the first to complete an achievement diary or combat diary, being the first to hit a level 99 in any skill, or being the first to hit max, being the first to earn a quest cape or music cape, or being the first to complete specific collection logs, being the first to gain a specific pet, being the first to complete certain quests, and then being the first person to get an iconic item, some of which including like the Abyssal Whip, the Toxic Blowpipe, or a Bandos piece. But now for a new system that's honestly going to have even more positive benefits outside of just fresh start worlds. And this is bonds to membership using a new passcode system. As we've noted with fresh start worlds, you can't just use a current account on a different world because it's not an entirely new game mode like Leagues or Deadman. You do have to make an entirely new account that you progress through Tutorial Island. And that's because the fresh start accounts will eventually merge into the main game after six months. 
but to do with membership when it comes to Fresh Start Worlds, they've actually created a bond to voucher system. So this will essentially allow you to buy a bond on the main game on your main account and then generate a voucher code that will allow you to transfer that bond to either your Fresh Start account or even potentially Iron Man accounts. So here you go down at the bottom where it says one bond for one passcode. And this will last exactly the same length as an original bond, which is 14 days. You just have the ability to send it to a different account. Once the code is generated, the voucher will be sent to the player inbox it was purchased on. You can then claim it for yourself or pass it along to someone else. Here's what your player inbox message will look like. You'll see a thing where it confirms your purchase of the membership passcode. If you want to redeem the code yourself, you must first log into the account you'd like to receive the membership credit. And once redeemed, the membership will be applied to the account which is currently logged in. And as you see right here down at the bottom, it will show what the actual code is. They said, please note that you cannot redeem the membership from the voucher in game. You must log on to the old school RuneScape website with the account you want membership applied to. That is where you'll find the redeem code option. They believe this new system has a lot of utility outside of just Fresh Start Worlds and I 100% would agree. And they hope this makes gifting membership to friends much easier in the future. Now let's talk opting out of Fresh Start Worlds. Should you decide that Fresh Start Worlds are not for you, you can easily opt out at any given time using that side panel interface we showcased earlier. This action will essentially transfer your account exactly as is into the main game. But do note that this decision is completely irreversible, so once it's confirmed, there is no going back. But a slight note, once you do confirm that you do want to opt out, there will be a 3 day grace period before this action actually takes full effect. And a slight thing to note is you must cancel any pending Grand Exchange transactions before opting out of Fresh Start Worlds, as you will be blocked from using it during the grace period. So if you happen to be logged in when the 3 day countdown ends, you will be asked to re-log so you complete the opt out process. But now 6 months down the road when the event ends, Every account who has been playing on the Fresh Star Worlds will seamlessly be transported into the main game after if there was just a different world hop. And with its conclusion, all accounts will be frozen on the Fresh Start World high scores. All accounts will be transferred to the main game. Nobody will be able to log into the Fresh Start Worlds. And any pending Grand Exchange transactions will be cancelled. And players with any pending GE transactions will be required to log on to a Fresh Star World once the event has ended. And this is because they can't process transactions unless you've logged into a Fresh Start world. So once you log in for the last time, your transactions will be processed. You'll then be logged out and you can log into a normal world once again. This is why you'll see some Fresh Start worlds still online after the event ends, but they will only be there for people to re-log and cancel their GE transactions, not for continuous playing. So with that, Fresh Start worlds will be launching on October 19th. And they currently expect the end date to be on Wednesday, April 19th of 2023. But that's everything I wanted to include in today's video. If you guys did find it helpful, consider dropping the like. It massively helps me out. And if you're around here often, you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys did have any more questions regarding Fresh Start Worlds, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.